Spring Camp Report on this Thursday. Steve Baker, head coach Chuck Martin. And, uh, Coach, let's let's talk about the offense. You're, you're working hard with the offense, and let's start at the quarterbacks. Uh, you know, both Billy and Gus, uh, all the quarterbacks seem to be really playing well right now. Yeah, definitely work in progress. A lot of good raw materials. There are some things right now within our offense that they're pretty comfortable doing and having a, almost every day having success with it, certain routes, certain, certain reads that they're really good at. Um, we're trying to expand. When both of those kids played last year, we were very limited. We were boring to watch. I mean, it was just a product of where they were experienced. So obviously we're trying to build our offensive package and also build their repertoire of things they can do to, to attack a defense. A lot of the new stuff, they are grinding, and it's a lot of trial and error. One day not so good, but then they see it. We watch it on tape, and then they're getting better. So constant improvement there. Uh, interesting because there's such different players right, to have right. a two, two quarterback battle. Uh, with kids that are really, one's one's a run around guy that can throw it, and the other's a, the big strong guy that can throw it and can can run and make some plays. So, it's it's good for our defense because they're getting to defend two totally different types of players and really different types of offenses. So it's good job preparing them for the fall too. Let's talk about the guys up front. Uh, you know, just watching them, the the size is is obvious from just a few months ago. The guys in that weight room working out, putting the weight on, putting the muscle on more than anything else, and and are coming along and protecting the quarterback and in the running game. Yeah, really the first two years here, with no consistency could we protect our quarterback yeah. against our defense, and really no consistency could we block and open holes for our running back. Uh, we made plays very sparingly, and it was more – a great effort by a back or a quarterback to make something happen. Where now it's becoming more and more a fair fight. We had some nice, nice holes today uh, on inside and perimeter runs. Our receivers are also bigger and stronger. Our perimeter blocking is night and day. We got some big guys out there covering up some smaller corners, uh, which is nice to have when we get the ball in the perimeter. And then our pass pro is, is really you know, ways to go, but really coming on in our understanding and then our willingness to put our big body in front of people. So uh, we're going freshman, 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 senior up front. Uh, but but we're seeing a lot of good things out of that group, and, and they've got a ton, ton of room to improve, but they're going to improve because they really love this game. Briefly about the running game, let's, let's talk about the, the backs uh, again, uh, seeing some, some bigger holes to run through. Yeah, nice for them. They've, they've, yeah, had, yeah. they've actually had some <laughs> smiles coming back like, hey, what was that? I was uh, So obviously Zoe, uh, with his experience last year, is, has had a really good spring, and he's a, he's a no-nonsense, conscientious, does it the right way, competes, cares about his teammates. So uh, improved in the weight room, improved his speed, even bigger. He's a big back already. So we're really pleased that he's got three more years of eligibility because I think he's, he had a, did a lot of nice things in the last year. And as we improve up front, as he improves, he's going to be really a good player for us. Spencer's are kind of the, the KG veteran that can do everything pretty well, mm -hmm. uh, can run well, can protect well, can, can do some things in the pass game. And he's always going to be there for us. And we're always going to use him and always count on him. And he's having a good spring. Kenny, unfortunately, is out. He's going to be fine. It's not a long-term thing, but he's not going to be here for the rest of the spring. Uh, and then Maurice and Leonard, just the two true freshmen, are still do great things every day. They're still li like our quarterbacks a little bit. Just there's a lot of new stuff to them that they're taking at their pace, which is fine. But to continue to get them to play at a faster pace all the time. But obviously, we know Moen is speed. He's made some big plays in spring, and and then Leonard uh, is coming off his season-ending injury, and he's he's working his way back into. It. So we feel good about the group. You get Kenny back in the mix. I feel like you got five guys that can really help us win games. So yeah. let's talk about the wideouts. These guys, uh, at least from what I've seen in practice, are are, are really coming along. You talk about Huddy. James Gardner had a, had a great catch today, but the, the littlest guy on the field, Jared Murphy, just had a great day today. Yeah, and no surprise there with Murph right. that we protect and let Murph do his thing, and he's a great route runner, has great instincts, and he's tougher than nails, and he's got great quickness that Murph's going to make plays. He has for the two years I've been here. Um, Roe, who's, who's home for a funeral, is going to miss today and Saturday, but Roe's had a great spring and really back to just relaxing and playing football and not putting the way of the world on his shoulders like I think he did at times last year. And he, him and Murph are furthest ahead, and they should be. They got a ton of game experience. Huddy's the one that is in that next group that's really kind of joined Murph and Roe as our starters right now. And that cut those three. Huddy's doing great things, catching the ball, playing the game. Then you got that younger group who's is a notch below, but you saw James today in his oh, yeah. game bowl. Luke Mayock's making plays. Cedric Assay's made some plays. Kyle Rowe, walk on. Redshirt freshman's making plays. Uh, so there's a number of young guys that aren't aren't at that top tier yet, but 
we're happy they're twos because they're pretty yeah. they're pretty good twos for us right now. They are indeed. We'll talk defense next week uh, when we talk to you before the spring showcase. But uh, uh, yeah, you got to be pleased with what you're seeing uh, overall from the team in spring so far. Yeah, we've really had one one day where just out of this eight practices, I didn't think our offense competed the first day after spring break very hard. Other than that, we've competed every day and we've done good things. And we're we're so much better than we were at UMass last year. I mean, we're not even close to the same team. We know we have a long ways to go, but we're we definitely have the kids that can get us there. And it's been a lot of fun from you saw me from the first practice right now. I mean, I can't. We're going every other day, and I the off days are good because we get some film sessions, some lifting. Mm -hmm. But I can't wait for Saturday because we're getting better leaps and bounds, and kids are fun to be around, and they're getting better, and they know they're getting better. And uh, so right now, it's a fun time to be at Miami and be part of this football program. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't forget the spring football showcase coming up April 23rd at Yeager Stadium. Now it begins with the equipment yard sale. The equipment staff putting all that Miami gear at Surplus Miami gear on sale at 7 a.m. just outside the west side of Yeager Stadium. The festivities and the spring football showcase all begin at 1230 on April 23rd. Make sure you come out and join us.